Look at that, man. A 76-ounce bar of gold. Nice. Welcome back, everybody, to Gold Rush. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to return the drill and get rid of some trash and then get back to mining. So I could not figure out how to return this rental. Uh, I ended up having to, to look it up online, and so basically what you do is come over here to the selling area and you park the rental on this pad and then you use the cash register to return it. Uh, I also, uh, in watching the video that I watched, discovered that this is a, a trash bin that you can throw broken stuff in. Uh, so you can see I've got both the drill and the wash plant engine in here um, and get rid of it that way. So next time we go into town, uh, assuming I remember to do it, we'll grab the jet the mobile wash jet and the uh, generator, mobile generator cooling unit that I left back at the parts store. Bring them back here and get rid of them that way too. But let's take a look and see what we get here. So we actually do get a little bit of money back uh, from the engine, which is cool. Um, but the drilling machine, of course, since we're just returning it, we're selling it, but we're not getting any money for it. And that's how we get rid of it so we don't have to keep you know, paying for it. All right, so let's do that. Confirm, and we got 130 bucks for our engine nice oh you know what i'll bet you we didn't get any money for that drill because we didn't own the uh, machinery and we probably had to sign some kind of a uh an agreement that if we broke anything we had we'd have to fix it so <laughs> but i mean we did buy the new drill bit drill bit so if that other one is worth anything we should still get some money for it but apparently it doesn't work that way anyway um a couple other things it looks like if we wanted to we could actually utilize this shop over here i never really paid that much attention to it before but it's got shelves that we could put equipment on we could park vehicles and stuff in here and then over here there's another smaller area too uh with some more shelving that we could store equipment and stuff on so that's kind of cool um i'm assuming probably all of the parcels have uh there's a dumpster there uh have similar you know types of setups please keep these toilets clean and tidy yeah okay can't get can't actually get in there all right so that takes care of that now um i used that drill like i said i was going to do and drilled uh, or checked the area that we're currently mining in and i'm not going to show it to you for those of you who don't want to see the spoilers of the map but suffice to say we're going to stay there and finish mining in that corner because that corner over there is actually really pretty pretty good um it's yeah it's really pretty good so I'm not going to tell you how good it is, but it's good enough for me to stay there and finish mining out this entire corner. So I'm just going to have to kind of figure out positioning um, of our equipment because without, you know, giving you guys specifics, this whole area here is actually pretty, pretty good. So we want to dig all of this up. So I'll probably... I mean, we can we can stay where we are for a little bit longer and kind of keep working this way. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll just kind of keep the mobile wash unit and the equipment again just on the border and kind of run it up this way and figure out, you know, the right positioning for the for the excavator to, to get in here. But we definitely want to dig in this dirt. Uh, it's really pretty darn good. So that's all I'll say about that. Um, and yeah, that's really about all I have for you right now. Uh, one thing I do want to mention to you guys is I am pre-recording uh, uh, several of these episodes. That's just kind of usually what I end up doing on my channel because it works better for me to, uh, you know, to pre-record several episodes. And so that means I may not have seen uh, some of your comments from the previous video. So if it seems like I'm ignoring your comments, it's not. It's probably just because I haven't seen them yet. Uh, when you guys do comment, I do definitely uh, try to respond uh, to everybody that comments. And um, so... Just got to keep that in mind uh, and don't let that stop you from commenting because you guys might have some good tips and tricks that I still haven't figured out yet. If I have figured it out, I will you know, definitely let you know that, and, but I still appreciate the comments anyways. Okay, so enough said about that. Uh, we are currently sitting at 19.6 ounces of gold. And so uh, I'm going to fire up the plant here and get back to work 
and I'll bring you guys back with an update uh, as we continue on. Oh, there is one other thing I wanted to mention too. Uh, I had considered uh, possibly getting a front loader because I, I heard the front loader is actually better than the excavator for moving dirt. The problem though with the front loader is this hopper is not very big. So if we start using a front loader on this, we're going to be wasting a lot of dirt. So I think that we need to stick with the with the 400 excavator as long as we continue to use the mobile wash station. Um, and then, you know, once we get to tier three and can start setting up the, um, you know, the larger wash plant, the, like the stationary wash plants, you know, at that point, then we'll start thinking about a front loader. So, okay, with that being said, I will bring you guys back with an update in a little while. Bringing you guys back for an update. Um, I am just about done with this next batch. Uh, one of the things I've done differently here is I started doing four buckets at a time instead of one bucket at a time. And uh, so let's go ahead and turn that off. Bring my buckets over here. And we'll also turn you off as well. Uh, so yeah, this is what I've uh, done since the last time. So I got that whole corner out over there. There were some pretty nice plots over there. Uh, still a pretty decent one here that I'm working on too. So my plan at this point is to just kind of work my way back this way and, you know, make this cut here a little wider. And when the time comes for us to get the front loader and all that, I'm going to go in and, and clean all that stuff up down there too and make it uh, nice and smooth and as we continue to work our way that direction um so yeah that's pretty much where we're at i've had multiple breakdowns and i've saved all the the stuff that's broke down just to kind of show you guys all of that uh, but let's go ahead and get this these next four buckets washed here so we'll start with you i have uh, 116 ounces of gold right now of course i've earned more than that but um the rent's taken uh, some of that out so basically what I'm doing is I'm washing like I said I'm doing this in four bucket batches this time so that way I can kind of keep working a little bit longer instead of stopping as more you know as frequently as I was and um, we can put two buckets in let's just stick that one back in there we can put two buckets at a time in the wave table uh, so I do two, but you can only do one bucket at a time in here. Well, you can actually do two, but if you don't stop it in time, then you 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 lose some of the material. So I do one bucket at a time here, two buckets at a time in the wave table. So you know, as I as I learn the game and more, and I'm 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 watching other you know people play it on YouTube too, just because I love the game A and B. You know, learning tips and tricks from some of the things I'm seeing on. Um, some other YouTubers channels but you know just kind of figuring it out and getting a little more efficient each time and yeah having fun with it okay so we're, we're at 116.2 ounces let's see how much we get oh 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 oh! I forgot one important thing hook up the water <laughs> I do keep that water disconnected because I think it saves me a little bit of water uh you know not having it run all the time I don't know maybe it doesn't really make that much difference but uh, speaking of water, too, we are getting really low here. Uh, the last time I filled this up, and probably this next time, I just went and did it in town. I know it cost me almost a thousand bucks, but it just takes too long to rely on the creek uh, to do that. So, yeah, we're just doing that way. I don't know what's going on with my seasons, um, too. It it doesn't, you know, winter doesn't ever seem to come. It like skips winter and goes back to like spring and then summer and weird stuff like that maybe again it's because i'm in the tutorial i still <coughs> also am not consuming fuel in my vehicles um so yeah that's that's just what's going on so it's either i've said this mul multiple times now but it's either a bug uh in the program or it is because i'm on the tutorial i i just don't know fortunately when you knock these buckets over it doesn't spill out the concentrate that would be a very very sad sad rage quit situation <laughs> okay and uh i think what we're gonna do also is after we 
we finish this wash, we might go and sell what we got because we got to be getting pretty close to 510k after I, after I sell all this stuff. We'll see where we are because uh, I'm ready to get to tier 3. This tier 2, it's been fun, and like I said, I've learned a lot, but man, oh man, it's it's time to to get up into the big leagues now. So uh, I, I don't know if I'll have enough money. It might not, but we'll cash it in unless the price is really terrible. We'll cash it anyways and just see where we're at, and at least I'll know how much longer I have to go. All right, put that in there. And do the second batch. And we'll probably, we'll take the water tank into town and refill it too. Um, you know, because even if I left it on the creek and went into town and did all of our stuff and came back, it's still not even going to be close to, to full. So it comes down to spending money so I can stay more productive. You got to spend money to make money, baby. That's what it's all about. But yeah, we've... Uh, We've done pretty good here. Got that little island out there. But like I said, all this will get cleaned out when we get the front loader. Uh, when we move into tier three. And, um, you know, I'll probably uh, mine out this entire claim. Maybe. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We'll have to see how things go. And we'll be able to move a lot more quantity of dirt, you know, once we start getting into tier three and the upper tiers. Because we'll have larger machinery. And so forth. So, um, what just happened? Oh, no, I was, just, I was just waiting for this to finish, right? Okay. All right. So, let's go ahead and disconnect this. And we can turn off our equipment here. Let's uh, make sure everything is fueled up. There you go. Oh. How is that still full? I don't know how that's still full. That doesn't make sense. Some of you guys probably mentioned this to me in the comments, but I haven't seen them yet uh, because I am several episodes ahead of you. But I was talking maybe two or three episodes ago now that I couldn't figure out how to tell how much fuel is in there. Well, <laughs> it's right up above the tank. I, was, I wasn't even looking up. So, yeah. We figured that one out. I'm sure some of you probably told me that in the comments, though. So, uh, yeah, I think we're ready to go to town. Let's put this back here. We're going to disconnect our uh, water tank here. And let's just throw that down there. I'm going to have to get in here with the pickup to get that out. We might have to move the fuel tank back just a little bit. Oh, uh, also... I've got, had like two or three flat tires now, and so I bought a jack, so I'm just keeping a jack and a spare tire in the vehicle uh, with me. And I also bought a couple other spare pieces. Um, I got a spare uh, mobile generator cooler thingy because that's gone out on me a couple of times. And I got a, a spare jet because that's gone out on me like three or four times now. So, you know, as time goes on and I become more familiar with the game and stuff, I'll... Uh, I'll probably know what to have in spare parts. Uh, let's just take all of this stuff out of here. It doesn't need to go into town with us. But we will keep the tire and the and the jack in the vehicle. Okay, so let's see here. We need to get this water tank out of here. So we'll start up our pickup truck. And uh, we're going to have to push this fuel tank back a little bit because I don't think I'm going to be able to get to it. I don't want to get stuck in that little divot there. Just a little more. There we go. Sometimes backing this thing up to hitch up a trailer is a real pain in the neck. Just because it's full on all of a sudden. It's really hard to keep it slow and gentle, you know. So let's uh, just back that up. That's probably good enough. Okay. And then we will go forward not quite there okay 
Easy, easy, easy. There we go. Look at that. All right. Doesn't always work that smooth, man. This time it does, though. Oh, we need the fat hose, too, uh, if we're going to fill it from the city water tank. So let's do that. In fact, you know what, though? Now that I'm thinking about it, it's autumn, so we could probably start running directly from the creek, and it hasn't gone out for a while. Um, and I think we're close enough to do that. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we will. Maybe we will do that. Why don't we, um, just trying to think. Okay. Let's just pull our water tank. You know what? I'm going to take it into town and fill it up anyway. That way it's ready to go for the next time we do use it. And then I'll, I'll, I'll just run from the creek again until it starts, you know, doing the drought thing. Anyway, um, for those of you who may be curious, all of this stuff is in here is what's broken down on me um, since the last episode. So a couple hydraulic hoses went out. Uh, actually, I should get a spare one of those too. The uh, jet, couple tires. This tire, uh, this tire went out on me, and then I don't know what happened, but then it like repaired itself. So this is actually a good tire, but because that's a bug, I'm not going to take advantage of it. We're just going to get rid of it with all the rest of the trash. So, yeah, those are those are the breakdowns I've had. So uh, we should be able to make just a tiny bit of money by selling all this stuff. And, uh, and that cleans that up. I really like that system in this game, by the way. It's really fun. Okay, so uh, one other thing before we leave. Uh, I did get a notification that I have. there's a new worker that's available. But... The, the last in-game day, the day before this day, we had, like, lightning storms the whole day. And when I tried to access my tablet, it said you can't do it because there's a lightning storm. So, a thunderstorm, which is really weird. Okay, so let's see who the new individual is. Okay, that's a mechanic. That's a mechanic. That's a hog pen container. And another mechanic. My goodness. Um, I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. Are, are these Would these mechanics be any significant use to me at this point in the game i i have the feeling like they're really not going to be that useful until you know we get into at least tier three or even higher uh, perhaps um just because i don't have that large of an operation so you know i can just fix things myself as opposed to paying somebody to handle the mobile washer you know three four five hundred dollars a day when it only breaks down you know every three or four days you know what i'm saying so it doesn't seem worth it to me. But let me know in the comments, those of you who have more experience with this game, what I should be doing with those mechanics, because it seems like that's just about all the game's given me right now. Okay. Anyway, um, what did I just do? I turned it, turned it off on accident. Uh, so we have 135.666 ounces of gold. We're going to take that stuff to the blacksmith, get it smelted up. Oh, I, should, I didn't look at the price. We'll check the price at the bank. And uh, get you know get that all sold and see how much money we end up with. I don't think we're gonna hit 510, but we're gonna get close because we already have 252,000 and change right now. When I was driving by here, also off camera, I got a flash that there was another story thing. So let's stop and look for that real quick. Was it over here? Yeah. It's flash and story mode. Okay, so we need to find the little paper on the ground. I can't seem to go any further than that. Is it faster over here? Yes, it is. Oh, here it is, right here. Okay, we got a new story for either the factory or the... Yeah, probably the factory. Oh, no, magnetite area. Okay, Ben, watch out. What? Endless streams of magnetite was falling through the ceiling. Shivd? Turn on the machine now. There's too much material. I'm trying, but it won't start. Shivd was struggling with the levers, but each of them were stuck. Okay. Magnetite falling through the ceiling. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Another little tiny part of the story there. Okay. So let's uh, head into town. Check the prices. If they're good, I'm going to run over to the blacksmith and, uh, you know, get the bars made up. 
and then we also need to fill this thing with water and then we'll see where we're at at that point. All right, gold's up to 1207. Um looks like it got up to maybe 1210 for a little while there. Uh but it does definitely seem to be staying above 12 now. Um because and I'm guess, you know, I'm guessing it's because I I've been selling it or the last time I sold it cuz I heard somewhere that that stimulates the market. So, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and sell what we have here. So, here's what I'm going to do, guys. Um, as you can see, I have 135.6 ounces. Take that to the blacksmith, get it all um, uh, turned into bars, and then uh, when I'm done with that, I will bring you guys back uh, and we'll see how much money we make. I'm also going to park the, the water tank here and just leave it here for now, and I'll come back and get it later. So I'll see you guys when I have my gold bars. All right, guys, we are back and ready to sell some gold. Hopefully, hopefully the price didn't go down even more while we were doing all of that. So I've got a total of seven bars, uh, six full bars, and then one partial. Uh, what's the stock say? 12.07. So yeah, it's looks like I might have dropped down one one more. Uh, so let's sell these off. Look at this. Well, we're gonna make some bank here. Uh, so we currently have 238,000 uh, at present. Let's see what we get next. Okay, so that gets us up to 386,000. And so we still have a ways to go. <laughs> we, we still got to get to 510k. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, um, I think then what I'm going to do is just get back at it. And uh, I might not bring you guys back until we have our 510k. Uh, I'll bring you back for the next sale. Uh, but I'll try and... I'm probably going to need about somewhere in the neighborhood of another 200 or so ounces to get to 510. So I, I think I'll just grind to 200 ounces and then I'll bring you guys back at that point with an update on everything and, um, you know, and, and see if that's enough to get us to tier three. So um, I will bring you back sometime in the, for you, uh, just a couple seconds. For me, many more hours to go. <laughs> All right, guys, I am back, and uh, we are going to do uh, our last four buckets of wash, and that'll be have been 12 more buckets that I've washed since I left you guys uh, earlier. So, yeah, we've uh, <laughs> uh, mined quite a bit of chunk out of this place. So, anyway, let's, uh, let's get this done, and then we're going to check our gold prices and... Uh, go sell as you can see I already I already have 111.7 ounces uh, and then I've been getting close to 20 ounces per four bucket wash uh, through this little section here and um, if we look at that uh, oh well okay don't don't look at the gold map if you don't want to see all of the mapping on the old Arnold parcel so don't watch come back in one minute but for the rest of you, Okay, here we go. Uh, so I I've been mining along this strip here, and you know it's it's pretty uh it's pretty pretty lucrative you know uh in this area here. So uh, anyway, let's uh, turn that off. Okay, we're back. And uh, so yeah, I'm getting like I said around 18 to 20 ounces per per four bucket wash from this section here. So let's get this wash. We'll see what we end up with, and then. Uh, we're going to run into town, we're going to sell, and hopefully we'll hit that 510k mark. Because, you know, as much as I've enjoyed the Tier 2 mining, I'm ready to move on. <laughs> it just This game is very, very grindy. Um, it just is. And it's fun, you know. You, you put another video on, or, or even Gold Rush itself, or listen to music, and just, you know, go to town and dig. I enjoy it, but it's, it is, it's, it's grind. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, uh, let's see. Did we just put another thing in there? Uh, 
Wait a minute. Hold on. I got to talking. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm sure glad the that stuff doesn't uh, spill out when you tip it over, because that would not be good. Since I've knocked over my buckets of concentrate, like, I don't know how many times. Alright, we'll stick that one in the wave table. Put those some back. Oh, and as you can see, I've got 89% magnetite now, too. We might... Oh! We might actually um, cash that in and take it and see if we can get some upgrades before we do this last batch of, of nuggets. I was kind of wanting it to get to 100% first, but if we can improve the blacksmith so we don't lose so much gold or something, it, it might be worth it uh, to do that. Okay, so let's turn this on. Uh, right now we're at 111.7. Let's see how much we get while we're waiting on that. Let's go ahead and feed the next bucket into here. But we can't actually run this because our little generator can't handle it. Actually, it probably could if we turn this off now that I think about it. Um, and uh, we already got the wash plant off. So can it? Nope, that's too much. Okay. Oh! We can't do that. We just turned our water off. Darn it. Get that water back on. That didn't mess us up, did it? I don't think so. It probably stopped. I hope it stopped. I kind of wish we would at least have, could have the option of picking the gold out of here. You know, that that's one of the neat things about the tier one gold pounding is you can actually see and pick the gold out. Um, and, and I'm just saying, make it an option, something you can toggle off and on, because, you know, some people are not going to want to take the time to do that, but it would just kind of be fun, you know, to get your fingers on that gold, because after all, that's what this game's all about. Okay, so we got 9.7 ounces of gold, added one ounce of gold to your account. What is that supposed to mean? I don't even know what that means. Okay, let's start this. Added 0.10 ounce of gold to my account. I don't even... What is that? I have no idea. I have no idea what that meant. I've got more than that, baby. we got 120 right now. Okay. Let's pour this in here. And the final bucket. This is bucket number 12. I don't know how long it took me to do all that. Uh, probably three, four hours, maybe of real life. Of course, I had some other things happening too, so I wasn't like completely working on it the whole entire time, but it takes a while. It takes a while, but hopefully we can get into tier three. I'd really, really want to get into tier three. Oh, there's something else I want to show you guys too. Let's, let's finish this out first though. Well, actually I can tell you what I did. So way over here, this red line way over by our our trailer there is a, is one of the small pumps, and it's in the creek. And what I've been doing is I've actually been pumping water into my water tank, um, and as you can see, it's full. So it's actually keeping the tank full, so it's actually worked out quite well. Now, the other thing that I did for the first time, because it hadn't really occurred to me to do it until today, is I, I actually set the time to normal real time the main reason that i did that is so i could have daylight to mine and not the futz with the lights and stuff um but the other there's been two other advantages of doing that that i you know i haven't had to pay rent you know two or three times because it's it cycled through the days um and also your stuff consumes gasoline or well not gasoline diesel fuel uh at a much slower rate because you know it's basically 12 times sl slower than if your time's at 12 times, if that makes sense. So what I think I'm going to do from now on is when I'm in, when I'm actually mining, um, I'm going to, I'm going to cut the time down, you know, to, to mimic real time. One X is, is the speed. And then, you know, t speed it up like when we're waiting for like the gold nuggets to, from the blacksmith and that sort of thing. Uh, so it just kind of seems to make sense to do that. But again, the main reason why I did that is is so that uh, I had daylight to mine in. Um, 
And yeah, so oh, I knocked my light over. Look at that. How about that? We knocked over the light. Okay. We're going to probably end up getting the bigger light anyways here pretty quick. All right, you guys. So that is it for, um, no, wait, what am I saying? Yeah, well, that's it for this, this wash round. <laughs> so we have ended up with 131.9, almost 132 ounces of gold. Uh, we have $374,000 and change. We have to get to 510K. I don't think, I still don't think that's going to be enough to get us there, but let's, um, Let's just see how close we get. Now, another thing I wanted to talk about, um, those of you who, what am I doing? Cut that out. Uh, those of you who, did I? Yeah, I disconnected that. Know what the mapping is on this, uh, on this claim. I was going to go to the hot spot. And you all probably know what I'm talking about. Wh which grid or which square on the grid is the like really, really good one. But I decided, you know what, why don't I just keep, um, you know, mining out this and have a nice cut. And then we can kind of, you know, when we start getting into the bigger machinery, because everything's going to be set up here anyway, we could start working that way. But I wanted to have, you know, at least be, have the tier th three machinery when we hit that really good spot. Um, so that's why I haven't gone over there and instead I've come back this way. But like I showed you guys on the map earlier, you know, these spots that I've been mining are still pretty good spots. Some of the better ones on the plot. Sorry about spoiler stuff on that, those of you who care about that, but it's just, it's kind of hard for me not to to share that because of the fact that that's where I'm mining. So you kind of know where it is. Okay, anyway, what the heck am I doing? Go back here. Let's take a look at the gold price. And, you know, because we've slowed the time way down, the, the gold price is not fluctuating so much which could be a good thing or a bad thing oh another thing i was going to tell you i got another um person ooh, don't hit the trailer uh available for hire too so we need to take a look at that let's shut this guy off sometimes the sound like cuts out in this game it's really weird i don't know why all right let's take a look at the the new worker that we got uh, we've been getting a crap ton of mechanics so he's a hog pan sluice box guy hog pan sluice box that doesn't that means he can't work the hog pan directly right hog pan container what is a hog pan container i don't know I'm going to have to do some research on these guys i i think i might have screwed up and you guys might have mentioned this in the comments uh, you know, when I did that a few episodes ago, but I haven't seen the comps cause I'm recording these back to back. Um, but you know, we had a dude that could work the sluice box or the hog pad. I'm sorry. And we had a dude, I think that was able to do something else. And I ended up firing those guys and I, sh I probably shouldn't have done that, but I just don't quite understand exactly how the workers work. So I need to do some more research on that. And you guys, you know, uh, are more than welcome to to offer advice on that stuff too in the comments even though like i said i haven't seen comments for that yet the i think episode four is was released today um today being uh, june the third and uh, this will when i release this episode it'll be episode 11 10 or 11 something like that uh so i'm a little bit ahead but i'm just having fun playing the game so you, you know you gotta you gotta ride the wave while while you got it Okay, um, so let's see. Oh, we never did the main thing. We we're going to check the price of gold. Let's go back in here and do that. Oh, wait, what? Nope. Okay, stock. Gold is 1210, and it looks like it's as high as it's been all day. So, yeah, this is a good time for us to, 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 to do our thing. All right, cool. Oh, uh, we were going to do the magnetite. That's right, we were going to do the magnetite. I, I think I'm going to do that. Even though we're not at 100%, let's go grab it and do it because if we can get a couple upgrades on the blacksmith before we smelt this gold, you know, it's just going to be that much better. So let's see. I left my magnetite trailer over here. So we're just going to go ahead and do whatever we currently have for it. The bucket is 89%, but that does I don't think that corresponds to the trailer, though. But... Again, we're just going to do whatever we currently have. I don't know how much you need really to 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 do all that because I haven't done it yet. So we're going to 
check it out. Okay, so we're going to take the magnetite trailer down this way and grab the bucket off of the magnetite separator. So right now it's, uh, oh, oh, I think we have to disconnect it. Okay, right now it shows 3% full. So let's run over here and grab our bucket, which is 92%. It's almost all the way. Let's put another bucket back here too, just so I don't forget. And we'll dump this in the trailer. And that makes the trailer 12%. Okay, I have no idea if that's a lot or not. I, I really don't, but we're going to find out. So we're just going to do it and see what happens. It might not be enough to do anything with, or it might be a lot more than I'm expecting it to be. But we'll learn. Whoops. <laughs> we'll learn. And that's, that's really the important thing that we learn. So that way we know, you know, for next time. All right, let's hop back in here and take off. I'm always running over those stakes. They break and then they were just, you know, kind of kind of reappear. Oh, you know what? We've got a couple things, uh, breakdowns too, that uh, we got to take care of. Uh, so let's see. I lost an engine and a couple hydraulic hoses. And again, for whatever reason, these hoses, this hose in this engine is not showing as damaged, but it was because I had to go buy a new one. So we're just going to sell them. We're going to treat them as if they were damaged. And yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. Let's go to the factory and dump this stuff off and see how much magnetite we get and then see what we can do with it. The very first thing I'd like to do with the blacksmith with that is do the upgrade where we lose where there's less gold loss. I mean, you know, for the, the time that it takes for them to do that kind of sucks, but that's not as important as not losing two freaking ounces of gold for every 20 ounce bar that we create. So what's, what we've got to do is pull over here. We probably have to disconnect this again, I'm sure. And, oh, never mind. We're not quite far enough over it. Okay, that should be far enough. Can we, can we work this, or do we have to? No, we can work it. Okay. So if you look in the upper right-hand corner, you can see we have zero ounces of magnetite. Now let's see what happens. Uh, is that it? Yeah, I, I guess that's it. I mean, there wasn't hardly any in there to begin with, right? Um, let me just double-check to make sure. Yeah, there's that's it. Wow, that was fast. Uh, so we have 6780. Um, 0 0.08 ounces of magnetite. I, again, I don't know if that's a lot or not. We're going to find out when we get to the blacksmith, though. Um, I was thinking about taking the trailer back, but now nah, let's just take the trailer into town with us. It's not a big deal. All right, let's take a look and see what we got going on here. Uh, so we have 6780 magnetite. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, what kind of upgrades can we do? So... Again, I don't care about the time. Buy small shares, cost upgrade, smelt cost reduced. Gold loss. Uh, buy a small, small furnace so we get a larger thingies. Buy the low-end pyrometer. I think this is the one that I want to buy first, so let's do it. Uh, it only costs twenty six forty five, so we might be able to do something else too. Nice. Okay, so um, how much does this one cost? Ooh, we could even do this one too. Buy the average pyrometer. Loss upgrade one, gold loss reduced. Yeah, I'm going to do that, you guys. I think that's the most important one to do. It just feels like it should be the most important one to do. The other ones are, the other ones are important too, of course, but uh, or do we want to do this? Uh, this will allow smelting amount increased. That means we have larger bars, we have less, it takes less time, and 
I don't know if, if it means we're, I think it's more of a time thing. I don't know. I want to go with this. Let's just go with that. Okay. So cool. So we got these two. And then of course, um, wait a second. You don't have enough mat. What? I do too. I've got 6780. Wait a minute. What? Oh, wait a minute. That's what I had before. Oh, it had an upgrade uh, or updated. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, then let's do this one. I should be able to do this one. So that means we can make larger bars. It doesn't update until you get get back out and back in. Okay, can we do... Um, we could do the cost or the time upgrade too. Well, yeah, let's definitely... The time is the least most important of, of this. I know time is money, but, you know, he's charging us to do this. So let's reduce the cost that it takes to do that. Okay. And then we have 11.36. We just barely do not have enough to do the time upgrade too. Okay, well, anyway, that's uh, that should improve things for us for sure. Okay, now uh, let's see how big the bars are now. S uh, wait, what? Oh, yeah, we can make 80-ounce bars instead of 20-ounce. Very nice. Um, even so, it's still going to cost us almost 4000 bucks, but it was costing us almost 2000 to do 20-ounce bars. And we lose four ounces of gold, but remember it was we were losing two ounces on twenty. So now we're losing four ounces on eighty, which basically means we've cut that down to a quarter, I believe. Twenty-five percent of what it was before, which is pretty nice. Okay. Let's smelt this. And uh I as usual, guys, I'll smelt uh, all the gold that we have and I'll meet you over at the bank for selling here in just a little while. Oh, look at this. We got a story here. I was just kind of futzing around waiting for that. Uh, and yes, I did increase my time to 12x, by the way. Uh, all right, let's see what we got here for story stuff. I think it's this part here. Calm down, Batty. We can reheat it later, said young apprentice. We don't have time for that. The customer will be here tonight. We need to do it now, Deru. Take this mold and put it inside the crucible. We'll make it fast. It's so messy in here. What did you do yesterday with all that stuff? Don't mind. Just focus on work. Deru uh, De, De, De grabbed the mold and the crucible and took a position next to Stephen Batty. That day had been long, too long for all of them, but at the end, the customer was satisfied, and that's what matters. Okay, cool. So we found another story piece. This should be done here fairly quick. Look at that, man. A 76-ounce bar of gold. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, those upgrades were seriously worth it for sure, man. We reduced our, our smelting cost by 75%. We can make bars that are um, 76. And... Uh, we reduce uh, our gold loss by 25%. Oh, actually, I don't know what the smelting costs reduce to. It was the, it's the gold loss that we reduced by 75%, and that's huge. So very happy we did that. All right, here we are at the bank. Uh, I did set the time back to 1x, so the stock is still 1210, which is really good. In fact, as high as it's been... Five days, ten days. This is the five day. That's the ten day. Yeah, it's not as high as it's been since I guess I started playing, but one of the higher prices anyways. Uh, so let's sell the gold bars. Look at that. We're going to get 91000 for that and 51000 for that. Beautiful. Okay, so sell that and sell this. Ladies and gentlemen, we have finished stage two of the tutorial <laughs> all right upgrade parcel in old Glen bank you can use tablet or drive back to town yeah uh, we've already upgraded it how much do we have to upgrade it more one machine machine slot on parcel maximum machines on parcel two 
Well, we're probably going to want to do this anyway. It doesn't tell us how much we need to upgrade it, though. So. Okay, wait a minute. If we do that, 30,000, that's going to reduce us down. Uh, okay, well, I we have to do it because to follow the tutorial so so it's done i mean if we don't have enough money to do everything for the first part of tier three we can still keep mining the way we are but anyways all right guys well i think that's it for this episode so next episode as you can imagine we're going to pick up right where we left off and we are going to get started setting up for tier three and i'm very excited to do this so hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video, and make sure you sell your magnetite. It is so worth it. Probably should have done it a little sooner, but hey, you know what? Better late than never, right? Okay, guys, we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.